I am happy to come before you this hour again to continue the progress of our activity. Today's information is going to be wonderful. I will want you to get your pen and papers around you so that you can be able to jot down some information that you might forget, you know, our work is that of research. We believe that every information available can be researched for confirmation. We have understood from the previous video that the story of Israel that the Bible gave us is actually not the true history of Israel. We also understand that in the ancient, in the uh, according to the the, the ancient Semites, the the Biafrans anciently were Semites, the Blacks were Semites, the 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 the, 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 the practice this polytheist kind of worship. What? What does that mean? A politistic sign of worship is, or kind of worship is, a kind of worship where they believe in so many different gods, according to the Englishman language, G-O-D. But as I told you in my previous video, these are prince and princesses, kings and queens, serving as spirits, as lords in so many spheres. And uh, in, in, in their cement, in their polytheistic uh, 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 revelation or, or available evidence proves that we have a total of 65,000 gods of heaven and earth. I don't know if you understand. The, the, the ancient, the ancient, the black ancient worshippers in the available record proves or testifies that they have 65,000 God of heaven and earth. 65,000 God of heaven and earth. So if you now pray and say the God of heaven and earth, it's not one, it is 65,000. So if, if you are calling the God of heaven and earth, you are calling nothing. <laughs> now, we also have 65,000 God of creation. We also have 65,000 God of water. We also have 65,000 God of air. We also have 65,000 spirits of mountain, lakes, great trees, and domicile in different villages in one name or the other. These are the available enlightenment or phenomenon of natural or individual worships. One of the signs of the ancient Semites, they, they, they personify every individual force, every single natural phenomenon, the sound of thunder, the flash of lightning, the wails of the wind, etc., etc. And we also understand that in the in the literature of in the literature of uh, Moses, we understand that the possibility of dividing the uh, uh, Red Sea was a call of wind from the east that pushed the water to a side. But the story we had was that it was divided into two. That was not the truth. But rather, from the east flow of the river, the wind came and pushed it against the flow upwards to the rocky, to, 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 to uh, unveil the rocky side of the uh, Red Sea for the children of God to pass by. And uh, at the time they are completed and the Egyptians came on, on board, the, the wind was 
said to have been released and the water uh, turned into force and consumed the armies of Egypt. Now, the point we have today is from the Bible, the question is, what was left out in the Bible? And why was that left out? The Bible has given us all the stories, all the activities, all the histories, information, slaveries. But the Bible did not reveal to us the secrets and the sources of talisman, amulet, and magic. So if these three informations that is ever present with a man, the Bible do not give us sources of such information, then how will we say that the Bible is the most correct book on earth? It's not. Or how do will we say that the Bible contains the information in its excellent perspective when it has to do with the worship of the God? All right. In, 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 in these records, when I stumbled these records, I begin to look into the most survived deities of our time and then trace it back to the deities during the time of the Babylonian, during the time of the Assyrian reign, during the time of the Egyptian reign, during the time of the Roman reign, during the time of the Maccabeans, and what have you, and what have you. I try to relate it back and see that a good number of those spirits, a good number of those charms, a good number of those magic principles, a good number of those cultural exhibitions has been from this time even unto this day. That is to say, we do not have anything as of excellent sword than that of which is personal testimony. I, as a writer, I write many books, I have written many, as a philosopher, I can understand the poetry nature of the words of the Bible. These things were not written by anybody that his name is here. Like Joshua in the Bible, they, it's not written by Joshua. It was a story told of Joshua, and they call it the book of Joshua. So imagine, if Joshua had written it by himself, he would have downloaded it the way it's supposed to be. But rather, someone was telling a story of what Joshua did and how Joshua did it. Remember, a storyteller cannot give you a comprehensive information. It is facts. So the story in the Bible has told to us is not actually the true history or true information. This is the truth I want to share before you. Now, because it is not the true information, because it does not cover the background details of what the truth holds, now it kept the world in confusion. We became uh, ever seeking and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. We cannot come to the knowledge of the truth unless we begin to approach it truthfully. I also want to help you to understand that in the ancient, before the Englishman activity of writing the Bible, men has been writing. God did not start to speak in Egypt only. God did not start to speak in Mycenae only. God has been speaking to different people in different lands, in different places. For the need of the people in that land, and as well as which has been transcended into a kind of law, a universal accepted way of living. It started from somewhere. Now, from the research, we understand that those early religious include many fetistic elements which assign supernatural powers to certain charms, amulets, and talismans. Now, these charms, amulets, and talismans 
uh, part of the Israelites, even before Moses bring the so-called God that they followed out of Egypt. There has been Cham. There has been Amulet. There has been all these combined elements which are called talisman. Now, it is also to be believed that Moses himself was trying to see a way of the people dropping completely that religion and taking upon a perfect way of worship unto a God. But we also know that Moses is a seeker who sometimes might not know what he is doing because he is being driven by an energy towards accomplishment of an objective in him burning as a desire before he met the spirit of whom he called the God of Israel. This spirit we know never gave a name to Moses, but he said the God of their fathers, the God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. This same God was the God that Moses said have sent him. Now, if this God have sent Moses, and from the record, we discover that there are 65,000. So when you call Chukwu Kiki, who are you calling? You see, I want you, the Igbo man, to understand that knowledge is power. And when you get it, you have got to you have access the power. Now, Chukwu Kiki, Chukwu Kika Abiyama, you have been calling Chukwu Kiki, you don't have a response. Among the Chukwu Kikes, which one is assigned to you that you should call? Out of the 65,000 Chukwu Kikes, which one is your own? Out of the 65,000 Chukwa Diamas, which one is your own? Out of the 65,000 God of Heaven and Earth, which one are you calling? You see, that was why the Savior Jesus Christ, in the many of his speeches, identified whom he called. He said, my father. He never ascribed it to any other name but his father. That means he is addressing the God of which he is the descendant. He did not call the God of Moses. He did not say the God of Elijah. He did not say the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He did not say the, the say his father. That is to say, if Abraham called a God, and Abraham did not say, this is the name of the God he is given the sacrifice of Ram. But rather, Abraham gave a sacrifice unto a God of which he called his father. There's no name. Now, today, we have followed a kind of semantic approach of what our father has left in a very wrong perspective, making it uneasy for us to assess our God-given glory and power. Sometimes we believe that the God-given glory and power we need today is money. That is what every, every, every layman believes that the glory of God in him is that he has money. If he doesn't have money, then God is not with him. That is the trend today in our generation. But that is not the truth. The power of existence is money all-inclusive. But we are talking about understanding the race and the God of that race. As a people, from the research of the scripture, from the research of the books, from the records of ancient masters and the pioneer parts of which we are on today, it is agreed that every village, every community, every people, every race has their God. The Islam have chosen, and they call it Allah, the earth, as their God. If there is any other place, 
the, the God to dwell. They do don't know. And the symbol of the 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 spa statics element that they can look up to is the star, the moon, and the earth. That is the Kemet that the Islam believe is their God. Now, in the tradition and culture of he that believe in the cultural element of worship, it is also the earth, all that we speak, all that we offer, all that we uh, 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 command is to the earth and the unseen. The prayers we make in the altar, the light and the candles we light in our churches is also to unseen and to the open air. The clap we clap in the church, the dance we dance, and as well as the preaching we make is to unseen and an open nature. So who among them is evil? So it is time we return home as a people and find our God because he has designated one for us. Be it a spirit or you call it a deity, whatever name you like, ascribe it. There is one designated for you among the 65,000. Call him, you get the result. In the open, when you call God of heaven and earth, you are attributing to nothing. Because we have 65,000 of them. There is God that is God of heaven and earth. Now, I now, in the growth and the exercise of the cosmic mystery, I discover that every tree that sprang up is a spirit on its own. That one is his own creation. He is also a God of creation because he has sprang. He has created himself. So there are many. So which God of creation are you calling? <laughs> which Chukwo Kike are you calling? God of creation. Chukwo Kike, Chukwo Kike. He has nothing like Chukwo Kike. Let me tell you. The earth was without form and void before ever a world come to attack the earth to become to be formed and born and have things inside. So in that nature that the earth was, he is a God on its own, waiting until one command is being given to him by an order to begin to reshape himself, to begin to act. So before the order that comes to reshape the earth, what was holding the earth? Remember that the waters was here. They, were, they didn't tell us how the water was created. What we learn from the Bible is an order was given for the water to be divided out of the water. They didn't tell us that there was any language that said, let there be water. There was nothing like that. So water has been there before every other word is being pronounced. And there was no other word that says, let there be earth. Rather, the water was separated for the earth to come forth. Even the water is also on top of the earth. So in all this, rock is carrying it. In the discovery of this, that the rock is carrying the earth, it is not believed that all spirit dwells in the rock as we dwell inside the rock that is called earth today. Because the earth is a rock. You see where the semantic ethics of our fathers comes from. Now, they build these things in a natural phenomenon unto a spiritual attainment. That is salvation. Coming from the clear, the, the, the clear canonical fall onto a rise of exotic understanding and wisdom. That is what is required for, for man. That is what leads man to salvation. And that is the salvation that man requires. The process of traveling back to the divine presence is the salvation, not the clapping and the dancing and the many prayers we make in the church. All of us live. Let us erase church from the environment. We will all live. Remove culture from the environment. We will all live. But for the necessity of the process that transcends man from the lowest unto the divine and from the divine unto the lowest in exchange of birth and procreativity. Man is required to follow tenets and precepts of what a God has established. Some of us believe there is no God, but 
but I tell you, if there is none, the bread that comes from you, when it leaves you in debt, where does it go to? It still remains in the open air and be floating around. No, there is a kingdom it returns to. All of us came from a kingdom. And your kingdom is not my kingdom, so my God cannot be your God. If you are calling the God of Elijah, Elijah might be coming from the kingdom of fire. You are calling the God of fire. So find your God. Call your God. He can do even more than what the God of Moses have done. Even what the God of Elijah have done. Even what the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob have done. Just find your own. The same assignment he used this man to accomplish. He will still use you to accomplish the same assignment. It is an obligation upon all of us to find out what is truth and what is not truth. All these amulets, talismans, charms that originated from the ancient black race is what today that was gathered together and be acceptable and combined nature to be the worship of their so-called Jehovah religion. All are centered into it. In our culture, the Jehovah has 12 apostles, and that is a symbol of the OG. And in that OG, semantic, the, 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 the view, or the hope, or the aspiration, or the vision of he who have established it, doesn't mean that that thing, element there is the God. But it's a symbol of what his God is all about in its completeness. For example, I traveled to, to <clears throat> Ghana to meet a, a sorcerer to ask a question. And he uh, has images. I in your activity, in your, in your uh, uh, act, in your decrees, in your knowledge, in all these things. These images, is it the thing you worship? Is it the spirit? Is it no? No. That in everywhere there are decorations. And in those decorations are the cosmic act to assist in one work or the other as has to do with that decoration. Okay. Now, not different from what I believe in my culture. That the image there is not the spirit, neither is it the God. But of which place will the blood be sprinkled? Because the order says sprinkle the blood at the order. Now, if you go to Roman Catholic or other churches, they have the image of the 12 apostles carved in wood. All are there in their altar and whatever, or how they call it, or their conclave, or whatever. They have one image or the other. Is that image the thing? No. Now, the difference in the culture is that we sprinkle blood on them, but they do not sprinkle blood on them. It becomes fetish, but their own is good. I want you to wake up out there as a black man to understand that, or as an Igbo man to understand that. Until you realize you are God, you can never go out of slavery. Biafra, I'm talking to you. Biafra means black government. I'm revealing this to you today. So it's not going to be easy for you to stand because a lot of forces and powers will collapse as soon as the black government rise. A lot of forces will collapse. And those forces will not allow you to rise. So the Biafrans, you should know the kind of battle you are fighting. It is a long age success that you are about to bring out of this year. I lift up my staff to tell you that in as much as we have not come to realize the God, it is always going to be from one mistake to the other. And that is going to delay your process in the portions of this black nation government called Biafra. The God who
who will fight for you is not Elohim. But you have been mistakenly been calling him the Englishman name. Yeah, he knows that in your heart you are worshiping the God, but you don't know the God. But you worship the God. You go to your church and make your noise and talk your things. It does not cross your roof. The prayer and the God is that one that you had that whispered to you. It's not because you went to church that they came. No, it has been there from birth. It has been there with you from birth. He, he, who, who has been pushing and making things for you? It's not because of the pastor's prayer. It's not because of the, the, the divine appeal. That lie. If any man tells you because he prayed, that was why he was so that he lied. He only appeases the natural cosmic flow that you carry. He aligns it to your favor. And that is what he has done. So that end that will make you stay away from your cosmic alignment. You need to avoid it. And one of the principles that you need to is finding that you are God. So in, in our culture, some say Abhishi. Then in English language, they say the garden angel. Uh, in our culture, we say Moana. And uh, in the other place, they say it's God the, of uh, small letter G. There is nothing like small letter G. Every prince and princess of the father has his or, his or her assignment. No one is bigger than the other. Neither only one is smaller than the other. But all are in their responsibility for the work of the salvation of mankind. No one is small. No one is big. The only difference between them to know the higher in authority is the kings, the queens, the prince, and the princesses. That is how they were shared. So when you see a prince, you know this is a prince. When you see a princess, you know he's a princess. When you see a queen, you know he's a queen. When you see a king, you know he's a king. That is the way it is being classified. There is nothing like God, G-O-G, -G, among them. They have kings, and they have kings among kings, and they have kings of kings. King among kings, king of kings, and the kings. Kings govern the kingdoms. The authority of overall supervision of the activity of the kings is the king among kings. And then the authority overall is the king of kings. This is the cadre of all spirit as a client. But I cannot be able online here to be bringing to you some secret information which are not made for public space. That is why I have codified my writings in Twitter to help you in your research so that you can be able to get these informations not by the words of my own mouth. I can only naturally, in a low level, help you to understand that we have our own path we must follow. We have our own path we must build. In the 80s, when our young ones return from the U.S. and begin to speak English, and our young ones at home begin to speak Igbo, we laugh at, at them that uh, these ones are, uh, are wiser than this one that speak Igbo. Today, the Igbo language now is a problem in our community. Now, we, are not, we, we now want our children to start speaking the Igbo. Because we have used English before. To make them look as if the Igbo does not make sense. Now they have dropped the Igbo and clinched up the English. Everybody now is speaking grammar and everybody is a graduate. Everybody has the degree. Now the language is gone. The work of which they bring before us that make us throw away our culture. We don't have it. We are going back to square one. You see how stupid we are. See how foolish we are. It affected my own home. And I know there are many other thousand and one homes there that have been affected by the same disease. Now, the only way to cure this disease is to come home, is to channel whatsoever thing we believe in the Bible, whatsoever thing we have believed in, what we believe in, is to bring it into the light of the gospel in the cultural and traditional sense. Then we can be able to come out of this madness and malady of confusion. I wish you well. Follow us on Twitter. Go to the Twitter, follow my page. You will see how I codify my writings to help you in your research. Subscribe in our channel, Eastern Youth Network. Ask us questions, be it good, be it bad. We can be able to give you a direction. Even if we don't have 100% answer, I know we have 100% idea and the direction to help you accomplish whatsoever research that is imminent in your heart. We wish you well. I want you to always 
No, that in this platform, we will give you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And we will continue on to this world that even if we are forced to stop, mob may combine, armies may assemble, colonies may defend, even the masters may say no, but we will continue to go forward to bring you the truth of this matter until the work is done, until the great Amadioha have accomplished his work in the restoration of the nation of the black states. I wish you well. Thank you very much. <clears throat>